Blast, but it's also a dodgy counter pick of value. They also got on and still brings I'm reading that correctly that I saw in the graphic a lot of W's in the column It's Thor for himself and then grab able to make so much space with slightly good engage with the stuff He does lose his beads Thor has a he's kind of almost relegated to to sitting in the back line waiting for the and for Hex Mambo despite how often they tried for it last game might happen for the Ravens damage poked out a little bit on the Johnny from Haddix and it's gonna be Julio who steps up Haddix scream Trying to match. It's dropped and stolen by Scream. Knockup going to be good from Julio as they come through. And now they've got the CC, the lockdown. But you need one more hit, Scream. He's so low, you need a little bit of cooldown. There there's the cudgel. And there's the first blood. Julio this on the time. Left side. Looks like Johnny's going to have that. Scream, though, up into the sky. Not much. Not a whole lot you can do from here <laughs> unless you really want to dive a tier one. He's going to come dunking down again. Blue buff's going to be spawning in. With Johnny on the left side of the map, this one should be... Especially now that Cudgel's down. A foregone conclusion in favor of the Ravens. But Julio, maybe with a little bit of cooldown, a little bit of luck, might be able to get something over the wall. Unfortunately, he's got neither of those. I love this Thor pick. I mean, he's sending out the Anvil of Dawn just trying to look for some aggression. Ultimate's not quite available now, but Johnny actually taking a lot of damage. Yeah, forces out the shield from Haddix. That ult is there, but the slow is doing way more for Haddix than it is for help. And Johnny, he goes oh, for the no ult. Way. Barely makes it into the sky. I'm, oh gonna, my God. I'm just going to lean in with Johnny and just say Johnny's doing <laughs> it. And that's, and that's where I'm riding at. As of right now, Haddix sitting right outside the blue buff. Hurry goes for a pull onto Rapio, has that one successful. Meanwhile, it's going to be a 3v2 around the blue buff. Scream's taking a lot of damage. Wave clips him, and that's perfect shot from Cozy to make sure that he's pulled back in, and a kill goes the way of Julio. Now chases on Julio, a little low. Johnny as well, half health. Loops around the mid-camp wall, but isn't going to have the full chase down necessary. Cossix is looking for more CR. If you're not engaging off that ult, hold that thought, hurry win. There's a lot of CC here already in Vaden Pike, but here comes the end of Don. Good shot comes out from Rapio to get hurry low. Johnny's taking a lot of damage in the process. If he goes, he might lose one for one. Instead, the team turns, they go to peel, and they take care of Scream. Kha'Zix, Johnny, incredibly low. No one to chase them down, and no one to deal the damage necessary. Julio should be able to help out Rapio, or maybe Rapio is helping. An awkward spot. Zap goes for the ult forward, doesn't connect on anybody. But does have some good damage. Wall, double tap, lockdown. Oh my Beautiful god. Beautiful wall. <laughs> the Ravens <laughs> did try for it. Uh, maybe not the way we anticipated. Blink over the wall, cudgel slam down, but the blue buff goes to Haddix. Now Johnny has to play it safe. You had mentioned it. He has beats. He has to do the Cosmos. I'm feeling confident in him, but Scream is feeling confident in the Ravens. Goes up to the sky, dunk down onto Julio. Have to look for the knockup from the Rat, but it's not in time. Does not help out the solo laner. Now three and one as Julio gets taken down. Kha'Zix pulled back in. No. Goes for the immunity in the ultimate. Stays alive. Haddix maybe bites off more than he can chew. Massive shield, massive slow, and the chase is still going on. Rapio doesn't connect with the shots. This is a great opportunity for the Ravens, but it's so awkward. Shelly. And also, Zapman just like behind tower there. Gets the beads down, wants to go in. We're going to trade relics. That man's definitely getting the better trade, but with the Heavenly Banner, it's going to be close. Oh, the ult kind of awkwardly he spaced, the awkwardly timed, and the shot didn't connect. Spudio should have won that. But again, an awkward fight in an awkward location. Spudio and Zap get to walk away. Both, as you had mentioned, drop in relics, although Spudio didn't have the Aegis online just yet, so it did not lose in that regard. Otherwise, found some control scream. Going up in the air, looking for the dunk, finds it onto Spudio. Wow. Back just outside the tower right line. And Spudio had all the information there. Rapio does have Aegis, so no way he gets soloed here unless he decides not. He just he decided not to use it, Gord. What we've really gotten to see, especially now that we see leads, two levels in mid, a level in the jungle, a level over there for Zap, maybe a little bit more here. Johnny oh finds himself goodness. in trouble. My God, the damage. See the ya. potion! The potion from Vin, the perfect shot, finds it. Now the chase is on. Slow good from Haddix, with the CC a little strong on the other side. Scream doesn't hit the ult, but it doesn't really matter because you've got a Y thrown down from your mid laner, gets the damage and opens up so much. Two gone from Hex Mambo, and the Ravens running the show now. All reliable for Zapman, chasing down Spudio, forces out the ultimate a second time, and has complete control of the left side of the map. You have to imagine, yeah, the positioning. They want a gold fury. They're going to extend this lead even further. I mean, uh, Johnny walks up, whiffs Acorn Blast, Scream gets him to half health, and Ben says, don't worry, bro, I got the rest. 5-0, and oh, this Baba Yaga. Ven has gotten the last hits on just about every single one of these kills. The Mambo looks lost. He has to buy Frost. He's behind tower at points. 
Scream goes up, looking for Rapio. Rapio could walk up in range, but knows it's coming and is not going to. He's going to get the wall double tap, though. Takes Rapio down to half immediately. Helps eliminate this Thoth from contention. Pyromancer was the main goal and the main target, and the Ravens have that down to half health. Kha'Zix throws out the wave. The Ravens appropriately drop the objective for a moment, let the wave roll over them. Fire. And then get themselves a Pyro. Now, like you said, they're starting up fire. Rapio still has ult, but he's zoned out so hard from Haddix, Julio, Kha'Zix. They're going to see this. But Johnny, Smutty, they're on the left side of the map. This is looking great for the Ravens. They've got the numbers advantage and the DPS to do so. But you've got a couple members from Hex Mambo in the area. Now, Johnny, enough time to rotate in. Who's going to pick it up? Ravens get the FG. Low health bars. Can the fight continue afterward? Johnny looking for a good dunk, looking for a place to go. But they just don't feel confident in their numbers. Kha'Zix sent through the realms. Uh, and sent back to base in the black and white. Can't do much about it. Ravens, clean calls on the map. Yeah, I thought Julio might try to go in for the steal, but he realized it was low percentage and he was just going to get chained if he hit the ground, so does not Gosh, step forward. however you want. Yeah. <laughs> He's just fine. Does not seem to be in too much trouble. Haddix in a very similar spot. He's got two people surrounding him. Does not seem to care as he plays aggressive. Hurry, goes forward, looks for the pull, going to force out beads on one, ult on another. Give the Ravens an advantage his position. He's got a two-level lead on that as well. Double taps, good. Gets the spin, has some damage. Needs to go up to the sky, though. Is he going to look for the dunk down and go for the kill? Or is he going to fall back? And the answer is fall back, go for his Enhanced team. Enhanced minions from the Oni Fury. They're going to walk over to Pyromancer, probably grab a Runic Bomb, and then consider what they'd like to do next. The, the world is their oyster. Maybe if they get Johnny, there's a lot more free time for thinking. Good wall, maybe good damage after. Great stun from Johnny. Over on Not right to deal with it, but they do have three just lurking and waiting for somebody to make the mistake of existing on this side of the map. And Johnny, unfortunately, he's the one who bites the bullet. At the moment, just grabbing those Oracle Harpies wants some extra vision, because why not? Fire Giant still a little bit off. Won't be spawning in for a... It is 21, as you said, 8-3. to three. And the Ravens in complete control of this one. I don't even blame Hex Mambo not stepping up for this. Until it's enhanced, you should focus on it. Now, Charlie, I guess the the only thing to talk about, especially if they're not going to fight in the you've uh, got to defend on right if you can. Yeah, Haddix has TP anyways. Even if it was threat of the Phoenix, it wasn't going to come through. The Ravens siege forward on the right lane. Hurry win leads the charts. They want this burn. Haddix blinks in. Yeah, it has the zone control and the damage. Oh my god, Kha'Zix is the one who's getting burned down. Julio goes in, forcing the Somersault Cloud. He's going to be able to fall away. Rapio gets some damage back, but Julio, everybody on the Hex Mambo have to play it safe. We're 22 minutes in. Right side Phoenix is down, and the Ravens, I mean, if they get an opening kill there, they might not show any remorse walking into the Titan Room. Instead, it's still a 5v5, and they know better. They fall back. They're going to push up mid, try to go for the mid bird. Certainly are. Remember, a lot was used, though. Blink, ults, all that. Johnny in the back lane, but how much can he get done? Well, he's going to loop around. Scream going up to the sky. Stun onto Zapman from Johnny. That's going to be his main target. Scream dunks down, peels for his carry, and now Zap gets to turn it around. Up to the sky goes Johnny, looking for his knock up. Again, he tries to go for Zap, but cannot find him. Instead, they get that kill, and with low health bars, force the fountain. Ravens have to play a careful game. He's going to teleport back in. And they recognize it. He brings the Bifrost with him. He better not. You're going to watch. It's He's on closing the way. up. He's There's on the no way, man. Way. They want to go back in. They are not <laughs> relinquishing this zap back in the fray. Now they opt to start to play it a little safer. Instead, back away over towards the left side. Phoenix, they're fainting for it. Jump in. Double knock Rapio's up from Haddix. Dead. Scream goes in for Rapio. Haddix finishes the job. 15 seconds till Johnny's back. 40 now without the mid laner. But low for Vin. Alternate timeline proc saves his life and keeps him going. Looking for the damage and turns it around exactly the way they need to. The Ravens marching forward now. You have to deal with respawns. You're going to have Johnny back, but they've lost so much else. What can this Rat do with a Charon beside him, and can the Titan live long enough? The answer is just no. Ravens in game two gonna tie up this set. 23. And that really was what I think made.